stage six of the still life is probably one of the shortest stages, but it is potentially the most critical stage because this is the stage that opens up your value range entirely. Uh, this stage is called the anchoring stage. And I don't know if anyone else uses that term, but I like it because it kind of tells you what you need to do in this stage. Um, what you're trying to do is establish the absolute darkest darks and the absolute lightest lights. And on any given still life, your darkest dark may only take up less than one square inch, distributed over anywhere from one to four areas. Um, and so it's going to look like you have a very bright still life and then these small areas of very dark darks um, that look very distinct. And that's okay. The next stages after this are going to come in and, and uh, add more darks to make these areas that you've anchored um, look more correct. You'll notice that what I'm looking for is the total absence of light. So under the book where there's just a little bit of curve under, um, it's very, very dark under there. No light gets to there. So um, I kind of worked up a dark there. And then under the ball, there's some very dark, complete absence of light where you can't see into the shadows at all. Um, so I've kind of worked the dark in there. There might be a little bit under this box. And uh, it's under the box, it's since it's such a sharply machined object, this bit is going to be very, very thin um, and not a very dramatic dark, but it is there. Um, so once you've differentiated those and anchored the, the absolute darkest darks, then you go and find the absolute lightest lights. So those are going to be the highlights, the very bright, shiny areas on any objects that are... Um, that are uh, metallic, glass, things like that. So you're going to go through and find anywhere from one to four or five spots. You have a, a still life that's all glass bottles and metal canisters and things like that. You're going to have a lot more highlights. Um, you can start to, on some of the lighter objects, erase, um, erase into those to develop a relationship of the absolute highlight to the secondary highlights, um, and you can go into objects that have a lot of light on them but, but aren't necessarily shiny, and you can find areas where you want to remind yourself that there is high contrast and go ahead and erase in there, um, and that's going to establish your full value range very quickly.